Our vitamin supplements are part of your long-term food supply. Hi, I'm Kylene. And I'm Jonathan, and we are the Provident Preppers. Vitamin deficiency can result in illnesses, which makes it a wise idea to store vitamin supplements with your long-term food supply. In this video, we will talk about which vitamins are most important to store, the best storage conditions for those vitamins, and how long they will stay viable in storage. Do you have vitamin supplements in your food storage? We believe that might be an important part of your program. This video is based on the post that is entitled Shelf Life of Vitamin Supplements in a Survival Food Supply. We hope that you'll take a look. There's a lot of important information in there. Vitamin deficiency is the root cause of many illnesses. In a crisis, you definitely don't want to be dealing with nutrient deficiencies. If you store wheat, rice, pasta, dry beans, oats, and milk in your survival food supply, you will have all of the vitamins and minerals that are listed on the screen. You're missing two really important things, vitamin A and vitamin C. Both of those are more difficult to obtain in a long-term survival food supply. If you store lots of dehydrated or freeze-dried fruits and vegetables, you can take care of a lot of these, but fresh, is always best. We have listed fruits and vegetables that have abundant supplies of vitamin A and vitamin C. The one that we like is Swiss chard. Actually, that's the one that he likes. Well, we both like it. I only like it once a week. I can't eat the stuff every night. Swiss chard will grow in abundant amounts in a very small area and provides vitamin A and vitamin C. So that may be something you want to take a look at. In a little four by four plot, you can grow enough Swiss chard for a family of six because you just cut and come again and it just keeps coming and it, it is really a great superfood. We also recommend that you have a multivitamin and vitamin C in your storage. If you can grow a garden, that is the very best, but in most areas you just can't grow a garden all year round. So having these as a backup source of these nutrients is very important. The shelf life of vitamin supplements actually has three important variables. The first one is the vitamin. The second are the binders or additives that have been combined with that vitamin. And the third are storage conditions. So we'll talk about each of these just briefly. Each vitamin is unique in its stability and its susceptibility to physical and chemical changes. For instance, vitamin A is really sensitive to light, where vitamin B12 tends to be stable whenever it's exposed to light. Folic acid is stable in the presence of oxygen, but it's highly sensitive to both heat and light. So every vitamin is unique. In order to create a vitamin supplement, there are different binders and additives that are put in with that nutrient so that it is convenient and we are able to take it. The problem is these binders and additives all decay at different rates and are reactive with the actual vitamin, which will affect the shelf life. At the bottom, this is a label from a vitamin C tablet. The main ingredient is ascorbic acid, but you will notice all kinds of other things that have been put in with this vitamin, um, as well as some other nutrients to help it be a better product. However, pure ascorbic acid doesn't have anything at all to react to. It will store pretty much indefinitely. As far as a vitamin C supplement in your food storage, this is the very best option. And if you will look in the show notes, I've provided a link for you where you can find a place to be able to purchase that. As we have mentioned, storage conditions play a big role in how long these nutrient supplements will last. Ideally, you will keep them in their original packaging and you will keep them cool, dry and dark. Those are the most important factors that will help that last longer. Yeah, heat is horrible for your vitamins. Make sure that they are kept cool. And you notice that vitamin C, the ascorbic acid that we have stored there, when we purchase it, we actually purchase it in bulk. It comes in a little pail or in mylar bags. But for me, that is too much to handle at once. And so we just put it into empty vitamin supplement bottles and seal them up like that so that they're more convenient. And when we open them, we're not risking contaminating the entire bag. Now you notice the manufacturer has printed a best by or a use by date 
on each bottle. And they guarantee that that vitamin supplement will maintain the potency that they advertise through that date. That does not mean that that vitamin supplement goes bad at that time. It just means that that's the only time the manufacturer will guarantee potency. In our research, we consulted with Jay Wimpy, who is a professional engineer, a chemical engineer, and he said the following, I believe the shelf life calculations are very conservative, and I do not believe the potency would change much going past the shelf life by a factor of two or three times. The reaction would be very gradual and would slow as time passes like a half-life calculation. So the vitamins would gradually lose potency, but I believe you could depend on the reasonable potency at least 10 to 15 years in cool, dry, and dark storage conditions. So what Jay is saying is that for 10 or 15 years, you're probably good with your stored vitamins. I would recommend that you rotate these. You don't have to rotate your other food storage while that is always ideal, but the vitamins, you really might want to keep those rotated. And if you're in a really tough situation, that means instead of taking one vitamin C, you may need to take two to ensure that you have the adequate amount of vitamin C to keep you healthy. Now, when you're looking at a supplement to store, the tablets or a powder are best because they are low in moisture. Any type of supplement that has high moisture, such as chewables, gummies, or gel caps, are not ideal candidates for long-term storage. And some of them contain oils, which will go rancid. These are great to use on a regular basis, but when you're looking at storing long-term, you want to make sure that you are storing in a tablet form. So again, what happens to vitamin supplements as they age? They will gradually lose potency as they degrade over time. But they do not become harmful, toxic, or poisonous, so you really don't need to worry about that piece of it. However, use your common sense. If you open the package and it has an unusual odor or appearance, that may be indicative that it has been contaminated or that you have some mold growth and do not consume those vitamins. But as a general rule, you should be okay. We recommend for your long-term survival food supply that you store a good multivitamin and that you store vitamin C supplements. Like we mentioned, we do prefer the L-ascorbic acid because that will not react with anything and it has an indefinite shelf life. The other two, the multivitamin and the vitamin C, you're looking at a 10 to 15 year shelf life if you've stored them correctly. But those are the nutrients that you would need to supplement your basic food supply to prevent vitamin deficiencies from developing. As we've mentioned before, growing your own vitamins is absolutely the best way to go. If there is any way you can have a fruit tree, a garden, or even just a tomato plant on your back patio, whatever you can do. Berry bushes are always a favorite. Absolutely. Whatever you can do to grow your own vitamins is the very best way to go. Sometimes in a survival situation, you may have to just depend on what you have stored. You can sprout some of the grains that you have stored and by sprouting them, you increase the vitamins that that seed contains exponentially. And you can actually produce vitamin C where there was no vitamin C previously. So I'd encourage you to check out sprouting because it is a good way when you're talking about a survival food supply and you need those nutrients, sprouting is a good way to accomplish that. We encourage you to look at these resources, long-term food storage, creative solutions to build a critical asset. Also, eight food storage enemies and how to slay them. And finally there, how to create a survival food forest in your own backyard. We encourage you to look at the show notes and these resources, as well as our website, theprovidentprepper.org, for a wealth of information on a whole variety of subjects. Vitamin supplements are an inexpensive way to ensure that your family doesn't suffer from vitamin deficiencies when disaster strikes. Today is a great day to stock up on some vitamins and put them in your long-term food stores. And now for the question of the day. What supplements have you put in your long-term food supply? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution. <laughs>